Do you get back to Ireland much? Is that, do you cause a huge sensation when you go back? Is it Mullingar? Yeah, Mullingar, yeah. yeah. Uh, I go home like a couple of times a year. It gets, uh, my dad still lives in the same spot. <clears throat> so it gets kind of hectic around the house. Mullingar's a great spot. It's quite a small, traditional Irish town. Look, look who's in the side of that. Oh, let's go, let's crack. Everyone knows each other. Oh, what's the crack? All right, all right, see <laughs> Potato! Thanks, <laughs> Niall Beautiful. He's his nice blonde hair. Oh, yeah. His Irish accent oh, and his yeah. carefree personality. Yes! Carefree Liam. personality. Good answer! I like, the, I like this of Ireland. Okay. These hats? That works. Very. <laughs> Last night, boys. No, don't, I don't want to see you crying tomorrow. Bennett, you crying? Don't cry, don't cry, honestly. It's a great game. Mm. So for all the Derby County fans out there, big three points today, 3-1 against Brentford. Edge is a Brentford fan. He's absolutely fuming with me. Won't talk to me all day. Toji, Toji, it's the last night. How do you feel? <laughs> Flute. Flute is the Irish word for penis. <laughs> When you are firmly wrong, because it means penis, you're welcome. The morning after the night before. How are you doing, Jerry? Hello, guys. Just want to say a massive thanks for last night. Thanks for voting for me uh, to win Best New Artist. I uh, really enjoyed the performance as well. I had a great, great fun. Met some really cool people. Uh, great night all around. On to feet. What is Niall Horan's favourite drink? I absolutely love Guinness. Yes, we are Irish and we live up to every single stereotype. Why don't you sound Irish when you sing? Because sometimes when you talk, I can't understand you. Sometimes and when I, I talk, I can't understand myself. Should I be doing it? Guinness is my favourite oh, sweet nectar. I don't even want to talk about it, it gets me emotional. When I wake up, well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who wakes up next to you. Uh, anything to add? No, I don't. I've never done that. No, I don't. Hey! Let's be honest, we've got some very fond memories of each other. We loved each other when we were kids. Like the time you pushed me off the tractor, I split my head off the marble on the mantelpiece. We played in every uh, corner of the globe over the last 18 months or so, and no show's been boring, every show's been different, and, and you guys made it extra special. And uh, it was a really fun time, and we're all going to miss it big time. Reality. We took the chance. Sometimes, like you'd be in there and you'd be like, as there's kind of like the backpacking thing there, you'd be buying like a pint, you know, be buying a pint for two or three of the lads, and then you know the barman would be going, oh, someone's doing all right, and he? he's doing good. <laughs> Just like it's only a few pints. I don't know if it's, uh, it makes any difference. <laughs> I'm gonna be the man who goes along with you. And 
when I get drunk. Well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who gets drunk next to you. Then about three weeks later, I split Greg off and wear a, te a table tennis bat. Right there, right um, there. Right there. One, right there. Yeah. On that note, uh, to Greg and Denise. <laughs> I haven't really been out of the house the last couple of days. Uh, been trying to rest up after being sick. Um, went out today, hit a few golf balls just to get out of the house, um, clear the head a little bit. But, but I gotta say, it is quite strange driving around London, seeing your face absolutely everywhere. Kind of don't mind it though, because I do have an album out Friday, so I actually don't mind seeing my face around for a change. It is a bit odd though. Just chilling out me box. <laughs> So yeah, but yeah, like it's good. I get to go home and you know go see the lads and stuff like that, and see the family. And it's yeah, I like I like that side of it. Um, but yeah, it's Miss Ireland. Obviously, would like to go there a lot more. But. Niall has told us for the last five years that Ireland have the best crowds. Grow up in Ireland where it rains for 360 days a year. Here's my favourite tweet of the night. Can you please do your best Irish dancing? Welcome home, Niall. Put it out the back. Here we go. Give me something to jiggle. Do you think anyone knows I'm Irish? <laughs> bogger. I am a bogger. If you're from Dublin, you think that Dublin is the only place that exists in Ireland. When tourists go to Ireland, they tend to just stick to Dublin. Oh my God, I love Temple Bar. I go there for a Guinness, even though it costs 11 dollars, 11 pounds, euros even, for a pint of Guinness. There's two words for people from outside of Dublin that live in the country, and they're called culchies, God knows, and bogger. So you live in, you're meant to live in bogland. West Palm tomorrow, and then after that, we're, we're all headed home, back to London, uh, for a day or so, and then over to Paris for me. Reality hits, everyone's just kind of like, what do we do now, blah, blah, blah. I like the potatoes in Ireland. I like all things Irish. Irish dancing? Irish. Dance moves. Oh, you already got enough That's what I do now. Now Lauren is here. Let's be honest, Ireland is the best country in the world. Exactly how to introduce it. Exactly. No. Very good. Okay. Now. <laughs> so, Ibrahim, you would say, Tommy, a cackle mavrishti. <laughs> Tommy, I, d I know what that means. Yeah, but you, you are, you're nervous for this moment because you don't want to mess it up on live radio on the national broadcaster. So, Tommy, a cackle mavrishti. Tommy, a cackle mavrishti. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.